I don't know, does that seem like a lot of oil leaking? That's been sitting in my garage for like a week and a half. All right guys, so finally today, I'm going to start cleaning this thing up, actually making it like drivable and stuff like that. Cause this car, obviously you guys saw it before, it is not the best condition on the inside. So I want to fix that. So we're going to be doing this we're gonna try to give it as deep of a clean as possible. Um, I don't want to take everything out of the car right now, but I'm gonna to try to like vacuum everything, clean the seats off really good, clean all the other junk that's in this car as well, and try to just put some of the trim pieces back together. So, because hopefully I can find most of them. I think I have. Like most of them, like have been like under the seats and stuff like that. So I have done a little bit of digging, but I have not gone through this car at all. So. Like I said, I don't know what's inside these seats. I don't know what's in the back, but um, yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the seatbelt. Gotta probably send this out and get it fixed because it does seem like it's locked up. Unless if it's just all like all automatically locked up because it's out of the car, but we'll see. But we're gonna get this car looking clean and good as well as the outside, even though the paint's not in the best condition. Alright, so I'm just going to start by vacuuming, getting as much of this stuff out of the car first, and then we'll go through and start getting rid of all the junk. Alright, so I have to say, I've cleaned like the driver's side front and back, and honestly it doesn't look too bad, honestly. The carpet is a little dirty, but the carpet's in decent condition. It's actually better than the carpet of my Corolla because the carpet of my Corolla, they never even had, um, they never had floor mats. So like I have a big hole from someone's heel or whatever, but it honestly doesn't look too bad. So, I mean, we will eventually probably take this whole carpet out and maybe give it a pressure wash, but the condition of it's not bad. Um, inside here is pretty disgusting, but I almost don't want to vacuum up these screws because I feel like some of those screws are probably like from some of the panels that are missing so I'm gonna probably separate the screws I know it's kind of gross but I'll separate the screws and some of the nuts in there but most of that change and everything is disgusting so but yeah I just wanted to kind of give a quick update on how this looks but I think once we start wiping everything down I don't know I guess this is broken here but not too big of a deal and it's funny too someone bought these floor mats um i didn't even know armor all made floor mats but if someone bought these floor mats it looks like and they never cut off the excess thing that they use to hang them up but i don't know if these are universal but obviously someone's kept floor mats in this car before All right, so let's see. I put on a glove because some of this stuff is pretty disgusting. Got some mask. Ooh, got an awesome pair of sunglasses. Blemish, I don't know. Okay, what the heck is this? It says a disc player? Guys, if you guys know what this is, is this factory? Like, is this like, I have no idea. But yeah, like this is some of the stuff like I don't want to throw away cause I don't know if I'm going to need it or not. I don't know what that is. Mass airflow sensor. Wow, is that still new in the box or is that the old one? I don't know. I might save that. What else we got here? A fuel pump. Hmm. It's interesting to see what has been changed on this car or not. Well, there's no 
fuel pump in here. There's just some random hardware for the fuel pump. Hey, look, a socket. 14 millimeter, not a 10. Oh, the hood latch release. I was wondering if I was gonna find that in here or not. Thank God I did. Cause it's missing up in the front. Trash. More trash. And then, I think that's trash. Yeah, a couple bolts. Like I said, this is stuff like, I'm pretty sure this is like what holds the seatbelt in. I don't know where the other one goes, but yeah, I would rather not throw this stuff away because I feel like I'm going to need it in the future. Some some stuff that looks broken. Well, not too bad, but yeah, I'm very curious about that disc flare thing. I don't know if this had like a, a six disc CD changer or something like that, but that's actually pretty cool. And something I thought was so cool about the Matrix is the way this front seat folds down. It acts as a table, so. Um, the Matrix was a very like quirky car, so I mean, it has a lot of weird things to it. Yeah, I think it's fairly cool that you can turn the passenger seat into like a table or something like that if you really wanted to. Yeah, let me vacuum this side, clean it all up, and then we'll head over to the disgusting trunk and see what we can find. All right, so I was just vacuuming the back seat, and like I was trying to vacuum underneath here and everything like that, and I noticed the uh, the seat's kind of loose. And something I also noticed too, I was like, what are those holes for? I have no idea what they are for. And I went to go lift the seat up and it pivots right up. Very weird. And then the legs can fold down. Very weird mechanism. But anyways, that was very interesting. But then I lifted it up and this looks disgusting underneath here. I don't know what is going on here but it looks really disgusting so I'm gonna get this all vacuumed up cleaned up real quick and then um so I still got to do the front over there but I want to get all this vacuumed up first this this is really disgusting honestly so but glad I noticed this and like I said the seats aren't even bolted down very weird how they're literally just flopping around and um, I don't know if like Toyota did this for a reason like it's a very cool mechanism that you can literally like Fold these seats up and down and give yourself some room So but yeah, let's get this vacuumed up real quick and something else too. I want to try to get rid of is this tint um, I don't know if camera really picks it up It's just like super like all the glue is like unsticking I'm curious. This window tint stinks, honestly, too. But yeah, you can actually see out the window now. But it's honestly coming off a lot easier than I thought it was going to. But it is breaking off into pieces, so... Might save this for another time. Oh, you can really see it on the rear window. Like, it's peeling, and it looks very hazy, so... But, and now that I started, it looks even crappier. But, I will try to get this peeled off pretty quickly. But honestly, I got the interior all vacuumed up. And, it looks pretty good. So, funny thing, I found this. Like, I guess you'd say this is a pretty, like, funny thing to see in a car this year is the aux cord. Because, I mean, not many cars have aux cords nowadays. But... I don't even know where that runs to. I'm guessing it runs behind the radio because it's coming out from underneath here. But I always assume that like this was like the aux port, but I don't know. All right now. The hood struts work or the trunk struts work, but they do seem like they are like needing to be replaced because you have to push the car or the thing up all the way. All right, so we got some cooler, which I'm assuming was probably a coolant leak or something like that at one point. Oh, more trim. I don't know what this trim is for. Or was this an oil filter? Rim? A jack. 
This? Is that part missing? No. I... So it looks like someone replaced this at one point. To a cleaner one. Garbage. Let me take this tire out of here. I don't know what these are. I have this really gross blanket. Oh, it looks like they literally look like this. This blanket was used to like mask off the the painting or something like that. There's some more trim panels. The broken visor that's missing. <laughs> Look, there's a lug nut stuck inside of this. The thing I really want to know is, like, like this is exact same stuff that was under these seats. Like, it literally looks like it's like gravel or something like that. But, um, it's like I should probably vacuum this up first, but we will see. Is this supposed to stay up? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll just take it out. Some more plastic trim pieces. A cargo net. I wonder if that's like... I don't know. Some like speaker wire. Oh, that's not speaker wire, but it looks... Some wire. Gross microfiber. I don't know what this is. This looks like a, an OEM part. A cap assembly. Oil filler. I have no idea what that was. A gross ass belt. Like I said, I have no idea what that is. Cap assembly oil filler. It looks like it was replaced at one point. Gotta figure out where this trim goes. It looks like it's like supposed to be back here. A lug nut, light bulb, a sock. All right, you guys, so I think I spoke too soon about how nice this car is actually coming along because this whole trunk area is disgusting like it is literally just like caked on with dirt and everything like that i mean it is literally like everywhere i, I don't know what they were using this car for before me but i mean it's like literally just dirt caked into every single crevice that you could think of like i don't know why like this car has so much um like storage space because the more storage space i keep finding the grosser things get i mean it's like all over inside of all this stuff i mean it's inside here in all these channels on here and everything like that so there's a lot more to clean out than i was expecting to but i'm very curious how does the spare tire fit in here um i think it goes here and then this somehow goes over it i'll have to mess with that and see i think because i mean i don't know where else you'd put the spare tire in here but yeah i'm gonna clean up all this stuff spray it down with some degreaser wipe it down really good um and hopefully like it looks like some stuff spilled and everything like that hopefully everything looks painted so hopefully there's like no rust forming but yeah hopefully everything else looks pretty good in here Oh look, there is actually a little bit of rust underneath here. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but it's just what happens when you spill gross stuff and then you never clean it up.
All right, guys, so I got this wheel well trunk space um, looking a lot better than what it was. I mean, it was actually really, really bad. So, but I mean, and I'm still not gonna say it's perfect, but it, the paint is starting to like peel up a little bit. Or not, not peel up, but like it is eaten away at from whatever was sitting on top of it for how long. So, but you can actually see the paint now. Before you couldn't even see the actual paint of the car, but I'm going to clean up this piece now. I haven't done any of that yet. Wipe down some of that and then try to clean up inside of here real quick and then try to get this trunk all back together. looking pretty good honestly so and we'll unlock this i mean it looks usable i'm not gonna say it's the best um and i have no idea what this hook is for but it's there i mean everything works decent on this car i mean the seats fold down I mean, you honestly have a lot of room in here when the seats are down. I think the seatbelt's holding that one, but yeah, there's a lot of room. I guess that's what happens when you have a hatchback, huh? Honestly, the car's coming along pretty good. Back seats are looking pretty clean. They do seem a little dirty, but vacuumed and cleaned everything like that. Definitely gonna have to get my, um, like shampoo or and start cleaning up all this stuff and making it look a lot nicer but now it's time to move on to the front i'm gonna try to clean the steering wheel as good as i can the steering wheel is pretty gross but i'm gonna try to clean it up i pre-soaked all this stuff so hopefully whatever was sticky in there will come out um and hopefully whatever that is will also come off the dash so but yeah i'll try to get this clean definitely gonna have to order a new bezel this thing's cracked and like five or six places it's here 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 the clip's not even attaching here um yeah it's been abused so definitely gonna have to replace that soon and the shifter are probably one of the top priority things i have ordered a few things already for this car so all right guys so after cleaning up the interior of this car kind of gave me an idea of what i was looking at and getting into so honestly most of the trim panels i actually put back in the car because i did find them honestly so like i got this trim panel in i found the hood latch switch um not quite hooked up because i need to put the hood latch under there back um i found this but it's funny i was wondering what the heck this was and it's double-sided tape because obviously that's broken but and honestly i got it all cleaned up i got it looking decent in here um i did manage to break this even more so i went to go take the microphone out of here and i went to just try to pop this bezel off and i ended up cracking it in like five more places than where it was but got the cup holders all cleaned up armrest is broken still um The rear actually looks pretty good, so like I said, the seats are going to definitely need to be um, shampooed and stuff like that, and probably the carpets, I'm, uh, I'm going to probably do that too. I mean, like I said, it looks, for what it is, it looks pretty clean for a 20-year-old car. Then the back, pretty much took everything out that was, that was back here, cleaned it up. Um, cleaned this up as good as I could. I found a cargo net, so... I'm pretty sure this is the an OEM Toyota cargo net because it has the Toyota emblem on there. Um, and also too, if you guys know what this hook is for, I would like to know. It looks like it comes out from over there, but got this all cleaned up, looking decent. I 
And the same with the passenger side. I mean, looks good. You got this aux cable here. I'm gonna probably have to rip that out too. Cause I'll probably put a new bezel in here and a new radio and everything like that sooner or later. But I literally just went to go take this on a test drive too, just to see how everything is. I mean, this car is pretty quick, honestly. I mean, I literally wish I could get past 7,000 RPM because that's when lift is. But I have that speed sensor problem, so my odometer is not working or anything like that. If you guys, like I said, if you guys have like any idea why, what it is, what the easiest solution would be to fix that problem, just let me know down below. But, I mean, it is quick for what it is. Um, same with like the moonroof. I took this off. I don't see anything like physically wrong with any of the wires or anything like that. Like I said, this this light works. So, um, there's power getting up to this switch. It just won't move the motors or anything like that. And it doesn't make any noise or whatever when I'm trying to do that. I found the old um, visor and it's obviously broken so I'm going to have to order one of those. Um, there's a couple other little things. Like I said, I'm going to order a dash piece. I'm going to order this. I did clean up the, the airbag up a little bit more. Got most of that chipping off of here. Um, but the steering wheel is still in really bad condition. I'm either going to replace it or buy one of those covers and put one of those covers on here because it is pretty gross to hold on to. And then as I attempted here to try to take the window tint off, this is actually a lot longer than I thought it would take. If you guys have any advice on how to get rid of window tint easily, just let me know because I have to take off all this window tint. So especially in the back, you can barely even see like when you're driving. You can barely even see out of it. So, all in all, not too bad. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, for the $2,500 I paid for, um, I don't think it's in that bad of condition. I do need to figure out that oil leak and everything because it is seems like it is worse than I thought it is. But, I mean, hopefully it's not anything major. And I've heard a lot of things as the timing chain cover on this car is apparently like really bad at leaking. So I'm hoping that's what it is. It looks like it's on the right. If you're in the driver's seat, it's on the right side of the engine. Or if you're looking at the engine from the front, it's on the left side. So, but that's where all most of the oil is dripping from. Um, I have not looked at this car underneath it yet, but I've just wanted to get the main stuff cleaned up looking decent. All right, but if you guys got any other um, advice for me on this car, please let me know down below because the whole point I bought this car was more for like a daily driver. So while I'm doing more deeper stuff into the actual Corolla, uh, the turbo Corolla that I'm working on, um, I wanted another car so that way I didn't have to like rush a rush a job just to be able to use that to get to work again so that's why i got this car so that way um it can be a nice project car but also give me a daily driver so that way i can work on deeper harder things for the corolla like the clutch the exhaust and all that stuff so but yeah if you guys know any other things about this um i would like to know down below but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new don't forget to subscribe to the channel smash that like button and i'll see you guys next time